Chi Lin here. Today I'll be going over how to prepare an image's color settings in Clip Studio Paint and get it ready for print using these three steps. Preparing your canvas, editing the color profile, exporting your image for print. But before we begin, I'll quickly go over what RGB and CMYK are and their differences. RGB is an additive color mode which combines or adds red, green, and blue light to create various colors. This system is typically used on electronic screens to display an image composed of different combinations of these colored lights. When combined at their strongest, white light is produced. RGB can produce many vibrant colors that are not as easily replicated in CMYK. CMYK is a subtractive color mode which combines cyan, magenta, yellow, and black. It is considered subtractive because when the colors are layered on top of one another, light is absorbed to create more colors. There is no white ink because the CMYK system, which is used in printing, often uses white paper to substitute for the brightest color. In short, RGB would be used for digital work and digital viewing, whereas CMYK would be used for printing onto something like paper or other tangible goods. If you're planning ahead and know that you want to eventually print your artwork out, it might be easiest to go for the standard paper sizes already listed in Clip Studio Paint. A very important thing to watch out for that beginners often miss is your canvas resolution. A low resolution, for example 72 dpi, will result in a low quality printed image, whereas higher resolutions, like 300 to 350 dpi, will result in a higher quality image. A general rule for canvas sizes is to go bigger. Bigger is better because you have more options for print. You can shrink a big image down to smaller sizes, but you can't blow up a small image into a big print and retain the same kind of quality. When you hit OK, your canvas should show up like so. So what exactly are color profiles and how can you change them on Clip Studio Paint? From what we've learned about RGB and CMYK earlier, we established that RGB is best used for digital viewing, whereas CMYK is best used when printing. We can use color profiles to change our image from RGB to CMYK color modes. Here's a drawing that I've done earlier that we'll use to experiment on. By going to View, Color Profile, and Preview Settings, you can open up CSP's color settings. The options in the list can look a bit daunting, but don't worry about it too much. The standard RGB profiles that you should usually go for and are usually used are Adobe RGB and sRGB. The CMYK list looks pretty wild too, but the options essentially refer to the type of printer by country that you'd be using, and also the type of paper that the image might be printed on. If you're using a printing service, you definitely need to ask them which color profile you would use. RGB might not convert to the exact colors that you want in CMYK, but CSP offers options to adjust your colors as closely to what you want or to something acceptable for print. Your colors can also be toggled with the tonal correction box here, and you can reset your corrections anytime. You also have the option of using curves or levels to toggle your colors, and also, more specifically, going into toggling cyan, yellow, magenta, and black. I'll show you what adjusting these settings might look like on your drawing. And in case you want to reference the original RGB colors, simply look to the navigator window. Clip Studio Paint already works in RGB mode by default. 
So I recommend that you save your original clip file separately from the file that you're using to print. RGB color modes work best with JPEGs, PNGs, PSDs, and clip files. CMYK files work best with PDFs or TIFF files. Let's export the image as a TIFF file. Go to File, Export, TIFF. Save it in a nice and safe place, and then this window should open up. Under Color, Expression Color, be sure to select CMYK from the drop-down list. Most of the default settings should be OK, and you can change the output size, but for now let's just keep it at 100%. Hit OK, and you should be finished, hopefully with the file ready for print. Thank you for watching, and I hope it was helpful.